Hello everyone, today I'm here to talk to you about Mayscape. Now this is the Adran version, I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong. There's also a Labyrinthos version, which I'm almost certainly pronouncing wrong as well. And these are solo Labyrinth Maze map style games. So effectively, you open this map up and with the little um, marker tracer thing, you are trying to get from the compass through to the impossible triangle. Now, of course, when you open the map, they do not link, which means you have to unfold bits of the map, move along a path, unfold another bit, close a bit, move around. And that's just the first couple of maps. They evolve and add new things in along the way. Now, some of those new things break the rules slightly of not allowing you to lift the sort of track up from the page, such as portals, which I mean, you know, you transport from one visible portal to another visible portal, uh, you know, skipping over a massive area, uh, but then still in the puzzle. Later puzzles have more wiggling routes and stuff like that for you to sort of get lost in. And then there's other things like keys and doors. So you actually have to go past a door, on, uh, to get past a door, sorry, you have to have found the key along the route first. And they progress from an easy level one through to, uh, to the hardest level seven. They've been a lot of fun. They take sort of five, maybe 10 minutes for the later ones to work through. But interestingly, unlike other games that could be like this, they're not sort of one-time plays because they each have secondary objectives. So rather than just getting from A to B, some of them have say like chests that you need to pick up along the way and only a couple of those are on the normal route. So you have to go back through them and sort of go off piste and stuff while you're trying to find them. They're just a little extra objectives but it means the maps do get played multiple times rather than just once through. Now if you sit down and play, it would probably take you about an hour, hour and a half to go all the way through from one to seven in the first sitting. And you do sort of find that once you've done a couple, you sort of get into a rhythm. It's the extra bits, like the keys or portals that come in later on, that sort of disrupt that in a good way. So normally when you're sort of, you know, in a puzzle and something's disruptive, it's bad. For this though, it keeps that disruption keeps the game fresh. It means the puzzle don't all just feel the same. There's a little bit of extra sort of challenge and stuff. And it goes from, you know, what is a nice sort of relaxing puzzle at the beginning through to a bit more of a brain burning, you know, noodling sort of uh, puzzle at the end. Now, there is a slight concern for like wear and tear. Um, so when you're sort of folding and unfolding flaps and stuff, and certainly on some of the middle onwards levels, there's like extra cuts, which means there's extra folds and things like that. And I think over time, some of that wear and tear could show, but not before you've enjoyed all the puzzles and probably passed it on to a friend or two. Uh, you know, it's not gonna have sort of fallen apart very quickly. It's just they are paper maps that are being folded, unfolded and stuff. So. There is a concern that longevity, the quality of them will show wear and tear, but certainly for the playthroughs, uh, you know, all the way through that I've done, I haven't had any issues. So I'm not saying there is issues, but I think there will be um, before too long or after a good amount of unfolding, flapping and stuff like that. I've really enjoyed this box. There are the two boxes, both have different maps, one to seven. So, you know, I would probably be interested in picking up the second one of these at, at some point. Uh, but it'd be interesting it, for solo gamers. I, you know, I don't normally play games solo, so a little puzzle like this worked out quite well for me. But what do you guys think of it? Personally, a game like this, or a puzzle, if you want to call it that more than a game, the fact it's got no setup, you open the map and you're going, that to me makes it worth it. When I've got to set a lot up, I start to go, I'll just play on the computer instead. But that is Mayscape. I've had a good amount of fun with this box. I've still got some of the additional puzzles to go, so I will be going back to it. Then it might leave the collection, or it might sit there for a little while, uh, so you know I can go back to it later on, because it, it is good fun, and it's not like you'll remember the route perfectly. 
Anyway, that is Mayscape. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I've tried not to show many pictures because, well, let's be honest, it would maybe spoil it. Um, but let me know what you think of the game. Will you be picking it up? Until next time, I'm Oliver Reist and thanks for watching.